Hello guys, it is that panda guy and I'm here again with another video and today we are going to be going through random clips. I just I just wanted to empty out my camera roll and this is should be the last video from our previous island raid. Maybe you'll see more from our upcoming island raid. It, only time will tell. But yeah, I, I saw this dude getting swarmed out in G1 on the last day and it was just kind of crazy to me. He was about like 100 million. My, I mean, when I came in, he was 96 million. I'm assuming that he was at least around 97, 98 million before the swarm, if not the full 100 million. So, you know, just seeing him get swarmed out was kind of disgusting. He drops like 20 million my like that is just disgusting, dude. Like, man, man, personally, I wouldn't take that level of disrespect. That is just me, though. That is my my inner <laughs> my inner just demons coming out. By the way, guys, I've heard so much that people think I'm either like in my twenties or thirties or like I don't think anybody who hears me thinks I'm in my thirties, but before people hear me, you know, like talking, they think I'm in my thirties. And some people think I'm still in my twenties when they listen to my video. I am 18 for anybody interested. You know, I just wanted to get that out there because I feel like so many people think I'm some old man and I am not. I am I am freaking i'm a i'm not a geezer that's all i'm saying guys <laughs> but yeah this dude dropped like 20 mil plus which was just insane numbers you know this is like the power of a tier 6 swarm for you you know like just seeing a 100 mil drop like that is insane you know people would just be willing to lose all those troops to swarm someone out you know i kind of wish i was getting swarmed there the content is always nice, but yeah, now we're looking at this dude who started at 85 mil right here and ends up getting swarmed out. I will say that he takes really good trades, at least from, you know, what I see face value here. And I also want to mention, no offense to this dude, but he, he was like, he was kind of dumb. He was kind of dumb and like, like, okay, so I'll kind of explain why. This dude had Tom on his wall. He had Tom in like, uh, I don't even know. He had Tom and maybe Lewis or something on his wall. And honestly, that was so perfect. That was probably some of the best, you know, that he could have on his wall. But then he just kept changing around. He changed to Liam. He changed to Edward. He, well, he was Edward. Then he went to, you know, Tom and whatever. And that was like the perfect duel. Then he went to Liam and and Russell. Liam and Russell. No way. And you just see it. Oh, dude, like, why? Why would he do it, man? And I... And then he goes Charlie and Edward. And I will say, you know, you never know. Maybe his Tom was mediocre, like the leveling on it. But even then, like, you, I, 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 why would, why did he need to change so much? You know, like, why did he need to change so much? And, 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 and like, at, at 85 mil or so, you'd guess that he's, I'll see, you see, I don't know if you guys see Crut up there talking, but he's just laughing. But yeah, uh, I don't know, guys. Like, at, at 85 mil, you'd assume that he'd, you know, have his Tom up. And even if not, you saw the trades actually get slightly better when he put Tom in his wall. I just don't understand, man. I'm, I'm so confused. And like I said, I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody watching this who are maybe in Fox. But man, like, I actually felt so much pain watching, like, him change his heroes. And then just stay on Edward and whatever, you know, I don't know. Also, in, in this clip, you guys are going to see me over here harassing Fine, basically. And I will say, this was kind of like revenge, you know. I was I was a little, I was a little angry because I saw one of my players burn and I was like, no! And I think it's because the dude was, like, loaded on loot. And honestly, it was his fault. Like, I actually, I actually think he, like, kind of deserved it for just being unshielded but you know even then i'm not going to just put up with them coming after our guy so i popped in here and i decided to you know burn some bases and i will say i ended up getting rallied and i ended up random teleporting and i think it was you know my in my head i was like ah oh, i got way less troops i don't want to get swarmed out right here either and you know in in reality honestly i have 800k room in my hospital right even if they hit me with the rally i probably take good trades on it, if not, you know, win the rally. Well, actually, you know what? They probably would have won the rally if they kept it full. But either way, right, I probably would have won the trades on it or at least just gotten a lot of free kills. Even if they tried swarming me after the rally, I would have taken good trades. There's no way they would have filled my hospital either. Like, I really doubt that. And I could have always random teleported if I really needed. And I'm actually really regretful of the fact that I didn't take that rally. I I should have taken it, you know, I want, I want the content, I was missing a lot of troops, because, you know, I had a lot in my graveyard, or even in my hospital during this, so I was like, should I take it, should I not, and then I, then I random ported it, and honestly, I regret it so much, I like, I really wish I took that rally, because 
it would have been good content. It really would have been good content, guys. And I am, I am a sad, I am a sad, sorry guy. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys heard anything in the background. If you did, that was my dog crunching on his bone. I had to freaking shoo him out of my room because he wouldn't stop. So, you know, hopefully you guys, <laughs> hopefully you guys didn't hear that. Or if you did, it wasn't, it wasn't disturbing you guys or like just annoying you. Either way. All right. All right. Sorry. I'm, I'm getting lost in my words now, but, ah, uh, dude, they, rip this guy honestly i mean he does get a lot of his troops back but either way that was still a little disgusting i actually start pulling my troops back soon because i see them walking over and i said oh heck no i wanted to get a little like last slap in over here and then i just ran off like i just ran to my base and i hid i <laughs> i didn't want to get i didn't want to get overwhelmed because honestly i was already going through so many healing like I, I had like the biggest healing bill ever i mean honestly it wasn't like the biggest one because in my previous island, I think I went through 300 plus days of speed up. So that was definitely way worse. I definitely spent way more like resources and speed ups in the last one. But either way, I still was kind of burnt out over here. So also, I kind of I, I kind of just recorded this because I was watching, you know, and I decided like maybe if I wanted to upload it, why not? And I mean, I guess I'm uploading it now because, you know, I'm putting random clips together to kind of empty my camera roll. But you guys kind of see Arkham and DKM going out of here. You know, basically there was like a, just a big brawl because they were trying to take over this point. And I guess nobody really um fought for our level seven. You know, nobody really targeted it. And I mean, I can't blame them, you know. I don't, I don't know why Arkham would have, you know, wanted to kind of start a conflict with us right off the bat. And it seemed like SCHK or whatever was going to hit DKM from behind so it was really going to be a 2v1 on dkm and it would just be more in their best interest to kind of take this over um and kind of just overwhelm like this smaller alliance right because why would you want to fight us off and i think dkm was i was actually quite surprised by dkm because i thought dkm would have been able to hold on longer because i mean they are an older region and they i feel like they burnt out really fast it was it was really shocking to me because I definitely thought they would have the resources or even speed ups to hold out a little longer or just maintain field control or even, you know, just just be able to fight longer. Right. And I feel like they burnt out really soon. And, you know, that was something that 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 really caught me off guard. And I was just like, man, <laughs> I don't know if you guys notice here, though, SCHK are winning trades on this tower. They were keeping it full really well. They were I think they were doing good with their garrison captains and. I mean, honestly, they were taking one or two trades on this rally, and you know, if they the the freaking tower got swarmed, they were taking even better trades like all across, right? So honestly, SCHK was really hard to take down here, but I did see, you know, they kind of got overwhelmed. They got targeted by a lot of alliances, and I felt kind of bad because you know I did know the leader of SCHK. I had like um ties with uh just i i had ties with him in the past so you know watching this kind of kind of felt a little bad but there was like so much betrayal or at least from what i was hearing in you know in in the island raid right from so many alliances like i just kept hearing about like betrayal like and it felt like everybody was betraying each other so i didn't really want to step in someone else's drama i didn't want to get involved with that because i felt like it would be it'd be beyond me right like and i didn't want to i didn't i don't i didn't want to just step into someone else's like issues right but yeah SCHK did hold off really well they took good trades and they fought as hard as they could you know and that's the most you can do I will say right here Fox was winning trades on this tower and that was a big just F's but when you really consider I will say even if you are taking worse trades as the defender as long as the trades are more even or more evened out you will be taking kind of better trades in a sense right because if you guys don't know attacker you know or defense ratio right like attacker slash defense ratio defenders are going to be getting less deads and more injured whereas attacker are going to be getting more deads and less injured you know what i mean so obviously even if like let's say a defender is losing four thousand compared to maybe three point seven thousand on the attackers right they are probably taking although more you know just worse trades in general they will be getting a lot more injured so as long as they can keep healing the trades are worth it in a in a sense right so it does pay off and that is basically the end of the video i've just been blabbing on this whole video so i hope you guys haven't been bored with me and i hope i have kept you guys quite entertained i did thank you guys for watching as always and you know you guys can watch us swarm down the fishing village right as we 
clock out. So you guys have an amazing day or night. And I thank you guys for watching as always. So peace out. And you guys just, yeah, you guys just do you.